Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create AWS RDS for PostgreSQL Server. I have connected to my AWS console. Then click on services and search for RDS. Then click on this RDS link. Now click on this create database or click on this DB instances. If, if we have any DB instance, then it will be shown here. Otherwise click on this DB instances. See at present I don't have any databases. Click on create database. Here we have standard create and easy create. I am going with standard create. Also notice here we have these many engine types. Amazon, Aurora, MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, Oracle and MSSQL. Select this PostgreSQL. See, when I selected PostgreSQL, by default it has selected version 13. Also we have the latest version that is 14 also. If we click on this 14, this free tier will be gone. See, free tier has been gone. So, I am going with 13. Then, here templates, production, or dev, free tier. I am going with free tier. Select it. See, if we select free tier, this availability and durability has been grayed out. If we select production, this has been enabled. At present, I am going with free tier. Here, we have to provide the instance name. Instance name is nothing but the RD, PostgreSQL RDS name. Here, I am giving PG prod 476. Then, master username by default it has selected PostgreSQL. You can also change it and create. I am going with default ones. Then, provide the password for this Postgres user. Then, instance configuration. Here I am selecting minimal that is db t3.micro. It's a two CPUs, one gigabyte RAM, and network speed 2000 megabytes per second. Then in storage, select the storage type. Here we have three types of storages general, provisional, and magnetic. I am going with general purpose SSD. Here allocation by default it has taken 20 gigabytes. You want to give 100? Just change the number here. Storage auto scaling. You want to enable? Click on this enable and then give the threshold. I am going with defaults. Here connectivity. Type of network type. If you want to connect IP4 or dual stack mode. The difference is if we select IP4. We can communicate only by using IP4 addressing protocol. Dual stack mode means we can communicate IPv4 and IPv6. Then select the VPC that is virtual private cloud. I am selecting default one. If you want to create new, just click on this create new VPC. For our purpose, I am going with default one. Subnet type, I am also default one. Notice important point here, you have to select this public access, otherwise it will not allow to connect except the Amazon EC2 instances. VPC security group, I am going with defaults. Availability zones, select any one of them. By default, port number is 5432. I am not changing it. Type of authentication, password authentication. We have other two options, but I am going with password authentication. If you want to configure additional information like initial database name, 
want to create this database now just give r2 scores if you don't give it will not create if you want to enable automated backups then check this check box and retention period by default it has selected 7 days we can select up to 35 days i'm going with defaults backup window if you want to set the backup time then select window and select the time at present i'm not going to select it later also we can edit copy tax i'm going if you want to enable encryption enable it and these are the other parameters if you want to export logs then select here okay we have configured all the parameters to create AWS RDS for PostgreSQL Server. Then click on this create database. See, it is, see here, it is creating. I am pausing this video until this status to be changed to available. Notice here, now status has been changed to configuring enhanced monitoring. But, but still its status is creating database. If you want to view the credentials, just click on this view credentials. Wait until the status becomes available. See, now status has been changed to available. Now we have to connect this AWS RDS PostgreSQL. We can connect by using DB Ever or PG Admin. If you want to install PG Admin, install by going through the link provided in the video description. Now, right click on servers, select create, then select server. Here, we have to provide the name. Here, I am giving name as this DB instance. Click on this one. DB identifier name is, that is RDS name. This one connection here connection we have to provide the host name or address we have to copy this endpoint go to pg admin paste it here then we have to provide the password which we have given at the time of rds creation then click on save you should receive error See, unable to connect to, I will show you the reason and resolution. Go to RDS Management Console, then click on this VPS Security Groups. There, we have to add the IP by editing this inbound rules. Click on it. Then click on Add Rule, Port Range, 0 to 6. 5336 and IP my IP. Then click on save the rules. See, we have successfully added one inbound rule. Then go to PG admin again. Then click on save. See, we have successfully connected to Amazon RDS process equal. Expand it, expand databases. See. This is the Postgres, Postgres and RDS admin. These both databases comes the installation of AWS RDS. We have created this database by user database that is R2 schools. We have created at the time of RDS creation. If you want to create a database, right click and create database. Then provide the name for database, test and click on save. If you want to change the owner, change. Then click on save. See, new database has been created successfully. If you want to create a table, right click and select the query tool. You can run any queries here. So, in this video, we have seen how to create AWS RDS for PostgreSQL. For more PostgreSQL and AWS videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.